Oh, hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, yeah, happy to uh, share uh, a latest uh, project with you guys. This is uh, the uh, arc projector. Um, basically, I decided to build um, one of these things out of uh, a Planet Scout. Uh, basically, this, this is an old uh, matchbox car that um, that I had picked up recently, and uh, yeah, I thought I'd uh, create something a, a little unique. Um, I, I was originally going to build an arc projector uh, a different way, but uh, this thing just kind of took a life of, of its own, really. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to um, kind of share with you guys how I built it, and uh, maybe you guys can uh, let me know what you think in the uh, the comment section down below if there's anything that you like to hear a little bit more about on just uh feel free to let me know so uh yeah as i mentioned it this is originally a, a planet planet scout uh vehicle by uh by matchbox and uh this is how i got it in a in a lot of um cards i think i got it from an antique uh market um uh, fairly recently so i'll i'll put a link in the uh right here uh to that video and basically when i had uh, picked it up and uh yeah, I just uh, took it apart right away and um, wanted to see what uh, what was in store. I thought maybe I'd actually restore it um, or do 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 something with it. It's too uh, too cool to just kind of leave in a box, right? So since it's so uh, you know so old and it it had some uh, had its time, uh, I guess in its day and t time to um, you know do make make it uh, make it fresh again. So. Anyways, uh, this is what I, uh, I kind of started with. Um, I took all the uh, the paint off actually, and uh, cleaned some things up. And um, yeah, I thought I'd uh, you know kind of sit outside and, and and work on the car. So um, just a, it's just a lot better when it's uh, when it's nice outside. Um, so I used a, an arc, I guess for the arc reactor. Sorry, it's um, I think this was part of a a, a hard drive and. Uh, or it could have been a motor, part of a motor from a from a printer. I was originally going to use this little um, version from a CD-ROM and mount it on top of a, a, a different kind of sports car. And um, I don't know. I found this one while I was just kind of looking through my uh, my parts bin, and I thought this thing was kind of hilarious. So <laughs> I thought, well, I could uh, I could mount it to the roof and. Um, see what what happens i actually dremeled the roof a, a little bit just so that uh there was some clearance uh for for the um i guess the mount of the uh the motor it, it was kind of sitting right there there was a little bit of a wire um sticking through still one of the holes so i went i went out and actually just um uh removed that and uh made it flush so once i got the um I guess now you can call it the arc reactor mounted to the uh, to the roof. I, I got some uh, some wire, uh, some craft wire I picked up from uh, Walmart, and uh, this stuff is very soft. It's very similar to like solder, really. And um, the idea is like I was trying to make it look like uh, lightning bolts, so I was just sort of bending it in in random ways, um, you know, kind of away from the vehicle. And uh, originally I was going to use a different kind of wire. Um, like standard uh, copper wire and just kind of um, splice it and then really kind of twist it around so that it goes all in different directions. But I, I thought for this first kind of version of, of doing this, um, I would just experiment with um, just using this wire and I'll you know, see how it turned out. If, it, if I didn't uh, like it in the end, um, I would uh, go back and, and try a different way. But uh, the uh, the wires uh, a little stubborn to uh, stay inside. Um, I use crazy glue, but I do recommend actually using some uh, some green stuff, and uh, that's actually what I ended up doing as well. Was I pushed some green stuff into um, each of the areas where I mounted the wire, and uh, it it proved to be a lot more secure as the um, as as the uh, the green stuff hardens, and uh, yeah, um, looks pretty cool. So once I got uh, more of the uh, the wiring done, I started to just kind of twist them um, into each other, and I I decided to sort of have a four way, um, I guess kind of angle with with these. I 
Originally, the uh, the motor actually turned, uh, but once I started gluing it, that wasn't going to happen anymore. So, um, yeah, basically, I, I, I spray painted the entire uh, main body uh, like a purple color. And uh, I know the video kind of looks blue outside, but it's actually purple. And um, the glass, like, um, I actually took this and sprayed it very lightly with um, just a shot of red and um, just it, it didn't make it very heavy it was still kind of transparent but I thought um, it looked really cool so I only did one shot of uh, red on it and then um, I took my uh, paint marker and uh, just kind of started outlining all the edges which I, I think looks uh, really neat and the idea was it for it to uh, show the windows um, you know, through, through the, uh, through the purple body itself. And, uh, yeah, after I got the, uh, the windows finished, I, I did the same method to the rest of the car itself. Um, this time though, I was using like a, a darker purple and, um, it was meant to be more of a highlight, but it actually was kind of neat to do it sort of a, a reverse highlight on this because, um, I was planning on dry brushing the uh, the electricity anyways, so I just kind of wanted to have that contrast in. Um, using these markers is just a lot easier than using uh, a paintbrush. And uh, yeah, I think it, I think it's a really uh, a really cool idea. So yeah, once I got uh, both pieces and uh, both of the main parts done, uh, decided to do a test fit just to see how everything looks. And as you can see, yeah, the red um, glass looks really cool. It's got a little bit of this highlight on it and uh, it's got a little bit of like an animated style. And this was what I was kind of going for uh, in a way. And um, yeah, no, I thought, I thought it was pretty neat. Uh, I decided to use uh, the same red actually for the bottom chassis. The bottom chassis, I, sh I actually painted it with this um, metallic um, cherry uh, color that I had, like cherry red. And um, I mean, like the chassis wasn't going to be a focal point for, for this, like um, for this car, but it's still, I, I felt that it needed to kind of um, reflect the original uh, color uh, of the car to a certain degree. So I decided to paint the bottom um, like a metallic red. And then uh, I thought it kind of looked really um, kind of like, Tron in a way like the Tron kind of coloration um, just outlining these um, like all the edges and uh, good thing about the paint markers and you can kind of clean it off if you uh, if you make a mistake and uh, but it's 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 pretty easy to to use these uh, markers uh, in general so you just have to take your time with it and uh, don't do what I did where I kind of I kind of missed and had to had to fix it a bit but um, other than that, it uh, looks kind of neat uh, in contrast with the, uh, the dark color of the chassis. So, uh, yeah, now I decided to start working on the, the electricity. I, I, I used my uh, blue uh, marker this time to uh, cover all the lightning bolts um, as much as I can. Um, didn't have to be too perfect, but because uh, I, I know I'm going to be painting this and I probably could have just started painting it at this stage right away. But I decided since I was um, pretty comfortable and I had my markers with me, I just thought, well, I'll just use the markers and kind of see if I can, um, you know, get, get, get things started with, uh, with it now. And uh, what you want to do is you want to kind of do some blue and um, I actually liked using the white on it. And actually the way I did it here, um, I, I probably could have just left it. Um, I, I kind of liked it the way, the way it looks with the, uh, the white um, highlighting it, but I, I was gonna be doing um, a full uh, dry brush paint job on it. But I wanted to show you guys what, uh, how it looks when you just kind of do it this way and just using like just some simple highlighting. Um, it does look pretty, pretty darn neat. But yeah, as I was doing it, I was thinking, man, you know, it'd be kind of, <laughs> you don't want to get too close to this thing. You might get yourself uh, electrocuted if you decide to, uh, you know, kind of poke it with your finger or something like that. Um, but yeah, the lightning uh, turned out really cool. 
Um, but now, but I did know I want to start create, creating like a glow effect on the on the body itself. And the way to achieve that, I was going to have to um, actually paint it. And uh, so I, I grabbed like this uh, very light um, acrylic blue paint that I that I had, and just got my um, my blush. I guess this is a blush brush that uh, from a dollar store makeup kit, and um, just started to uh, kind of run it all over the uh, top of the uh, the art projector. Um, I should have mentioned actually to the. I actually painted the coils again uh, copper. Uh, they were copper originally, and then when I had painted it, um, obviously I had to. Co um, I covered all that up, but I repainted the copper collar <laughs> of the. Sorry, I repainted the uh, copper uh, coils uh, with the proper uh, copper paint. So, so you can now you can see that again. And um, I transitioned between the uh, the blue uh, paint I was using and. What I was trying to do was actually have have the glow of the lightning um, kind of fade down into like below into like the, uh, the, the 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 actual body of the car itself. So basically, I'm just kind of making sure that the blue is kind of going all over the place, just on the kind of like the back half of the car itself. Yeah, and then once I had, um, you know, I felt like I, I did pretty good on the blue. Um, I actually went and started using uh, like a white paint as well. And I, the very tips of the lightning bolts, um, I painted them all white and uh, just made sure that um, it kind of, kind of blended into the center. So as you go closer to the, to the, um, I guess the, the machine itself, uh, it gets a little bit more blue, but I kind of highlighted and different areas so you can have a little bit of white a little bit of blue and uh, really try to make that contrast with the rest of the vehicle itself and um, last thing was to um, detail the uh, I guess like the uh, the, the interior piece uh, of the car which is really just kind of outlining I wanted to outline the grill and um, I actually use a different marker on, on the front the front and um, then I use my silver uh, paint um, marker to do outline the grill and then uh, focus my attention on actually um, fixing up the uh, the wheels again. So and once I got everything done and glued it all together, um, this is the uh, the final result. And um, as you can see, um, you know the lightning uh, turned out really really cool. I I think that you know I might have. Um, you might I could have actually left it like with the dark blue and then just kind of really highlighted the white but I kind of I kind of like how this turned out with the uh, dry brushing uh, going into the center of the car and uh, a little bit on the body I didn't put any of the blue intentionally on the red glass itself I, I kind of wanted to leave it as like with the reflected light uh, from the arc projector it would only go on the uh, the body of the car but um, yeah, I guess I could have easily done that as well, and uh, but I kind of wanted to just show all the uh, the highlights uh, of the red. I thought I thought it looked pretty neat, and then um, yeah, I mean I didn't dirty up this model by any means. It the whole point was to really focus the attention on the uh, the upper area, which is really I mean you know in comparison, I can tell you I mean this this whole project cost me like like a like a dollar really so. <laughs> I know there are some videos on making uh, cars for uh, like a uh, two, three dollars or something like that. But I mean, I paid a buck for this car, and I already had the uh, the uh, car, or sorry, the um, CD-ROM part or the computer part in general. So uh, hopefully, you guys uh, like this build. Uh, you know, feel free to uh, comment down below about um, putting something like this together. If it's a little too crazy, just let me know. I'll I'll tone it down a little bit, or um, let me know if uh, you want to see more crazy builds like this in the future and uh, I'll, I'll do my best to um, you know make make things happen <laughs> and uh, hopefully you're all staying safe and um, thanks a lot for uh, for stopping by cheers